Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, once again, I'm at the beautiful one acre lot section in Vintage Oaks, New Braunfels, Texas, because behind me is a house that my clients are just closing on. It's built by Grand Endeavor, and it's the Cottonwood plan. Let's go check it out. This house is absolutely gorgeous. It is a five bedroom, 3,200 square foot home. My clients bought this lot uh, quite a few years ago when lots were fairly cheap in uh, Vintage Oaks. Now, they're getting a little less expensive than they were at their peak, but they're still quite expensive out at Vintage Oaks. And uh, I really love this community. The amenities are phenomenal. Low interest rate. Uh, I believe the interest rates for the one acre section is right around 1.8%, so that's crazy low. But this is a beautiful home. Uh, my clients upgraded just a few things, but this video is going to showcase really what you can do without breaking the budget. All right, let's head on inside. This, as you can see, this is a three bedroom house. Um, the cottonwood plan, I'm not going to disclose what my clients paid for this house, but it can be built anywhere between $700,000 and $750,000. Now that's just for the house alone, not the lot. And as you can tell, Grand Endeavor does not do landscaping. So if you're considering that, realize uh, you're going to have to cover that yourself. These doors are standard doors and they're beautiful. All right, let's head on in. Really love this entryway. Got a few steps coming up because the house slopes from the back to the front. Do a beautiful sitting area out here to just kind of look over the beautiful Texas Hill Country. Yeah, we got some construction going on still. But yeah, be nice roof, absolutely beautiful doors. Coming in, they got the luxury vinyl planks. These barn doors were our uh, Grand Endeavor's kind of entry level barn doors, which is a little bit extra, but from regular doors, but really look great. So this could be a beautiful office here with a nice view out the front. Love what they did with this entry space with a low linear fireplace, leaving plenty of room up above to put your TV. Love the backlit uh, nooks there. They do have the built-in plug, but a gorgeous kitchen. Love the lighting they have up top. I mean, just a beautifully done kitchen. GE appliances, really nice. Not the Grand Endeavor, they're kind of a semi-custom home, but they do a really good job of it. This is an upgraded wrap around the kitchen, around the island, but definitely worth it. That looks great. Get your oven and microwave combo. Big, beautiful pantry. Really nice. And FYI, I really love the selections my clients did picking this out. That looks absolutely beautiful. You do have your dining room slash breakfast nook section over here. Plenty of space for that. And as I'm filming it, what time is it? We're at almost five o'clock in the afternoon. It is late May 2023 and you can see the sun is setting to where the shadow is going to keep growing and be really nice out here. But beautiful spot, having one acres. There's nothing being built back behind us. There's a little green space area behind the one acre lot. So really lovely entertainment space. Dig the ceiling way up high. And I gotta check out these panel doors. Um, these are an upgrade kind of about 10 grand or so to get this sliding three panel door set up. Do you got gas for if you're trying to do some uh, grilling? But yeah, just love this house and love the, uh, what my clients did on this house. All right, let's go check out this garage. We showed from the outside that it was a three car garage. Let's get a closer look at it. All right, so they have started moving a few things in. 
but it's an oversized three car garage, meaning you're, you can pull further in. But yeah, that's gonna be beautiful. Got your mudroom, ready to come in for kids to hang their backpack, stuff their shoes underneath. Really nice, and I love the fact they put a little pizzazzy on the uh, laundry room floor. Looks really nice, and plenty of space. All right, that's gonna be the master bedroom. I wanna share that for last. Let's go ahead and look over here, look at the secondary and third bedrooms. But taking the rock all the way up looks gorgeous on this fireplace. <clears throat> now, the, my clients do have some kids, so they kind of designed this house specifically for that. So this can be like a video game room and have access to all these bedrooms back here. And I believe there's four of them, four bedrooms. So here's one of them. And I've done multiple videos of this house throughout the build process. This is the first one I've done in a little while, so catching the finished product is really nice. So you do have another door going to that outside patio section. The closet here for putting any like games, books, board games, whatever you want to store in there. A shared bathroom. Oh, dang it, there's the toilet seat up. Sorry, I didn't catch that. But a beautifully done bathroom. Love the finishes with the shaker doors on all the cabinets. Another bedroom, about the same as what we saw in the last one. Tall ceilings. So just having this extra space kind of tucked out behind the main spot. I really love the cottonwood plan for that. Here's the third bedroom. Go check out the closet. This bedroom is gonna have a kind of a Jack and Jill bathroom with uh, the other bedroom. It's like good size. Eight foot doors in this house. And guys, if it's only like two, two and a half grand to put eight foot doors when you got tall ceilings in the house, go for it. You're not gonna regret it and you're not gonna miss that two and a half grand. But if you put your standard height door in there, it will look a little awkward, especially at this tier of a house. So, looks beautiful in here. Let me find some more lights. There we go. Beautiful mud inset shower, and they took the tile all the way up to the top. So, this bathroom is going to be shared by the fourth bedroom back here. With, once again, a decent, really nice sized closet. And coming out here into this bedroom. Like I said, all of them opening up to this central living space. So that's really neat. If so, if you've got like kid wing, kid can have their wing of the house and adults can have their other wing. So let's head back over to the adult side and showcase that master bedroom. But just really great lighting in here. All right, love this master bedroom. Lots of space in here. Great lighting looking over this beautiful lot. We do have the tray ceiling, eight foot doors opening up into this absolutely gorgeous bathroom. Look at this. That is a beautifully done home. Love the kind of charcoal gray cabinets, big mirrors. And I kind of have something like this done in my personal house to where you don't have to have everything stored on your vanities. You can put them away in here, but still have easy access to it without cluttering up your vanities. Check out this garage. Let's if I can showcase just the texture. That is kind of like a three-dimensional texture on these tiles. And they kind of got, I guess you can see it a little bit better right there. Water closet, but your little car wash shower. Well, I wouldn't quite say little. That's an impressive garage. I mean, <laughs> car wash, shower, get my words right. But this is just a beautiful space and the windows are up high enough to give you plenty of lighting of a beautiful Texas guy, but not enough is where your bits and pieces are showing. All right, just beautiful. I love the bathroom in this house. And I also love this closet. 
Um, with a semi custom home, they've got a couple different options. My client went for the bigger closet option, and uh, wow, it really does come and play when you start looking at it. Big shoe rack, because you got kind of a his shoe her, and her shoe racks on either side. So that's kind of really nice. I say they already got the pass-through set up. And like I said, they're already starting to move some things in here. All right, this beautiful home. Super excited for my clients. A little view from the sink. They did go for, it's not a single, if there's not a 50-50 sink, they've got room for put a skillet in there because that's important. And here's your view from the sink. I just love these cabinets. Well, that's gonna be it for the video tour for this house that my clients are just closing on. Remember, it's built by Grand Endeavor out in Vintage Oak. This is a cottonwood plan. It is a five bedroom, just about 3,200 square foot home. Really love it. They're, Grand Endeavor is a semi-custom home builder, so you can make some changes, but they've got like 12 to 14 plans to choose from that you can do some tweaks to. Anyways, if you're looking to buy in this area and you don't have a real estate agent, please consider me. Uh, it costs my clients absolutely nothing to use me as the realtor, and I'm so thankful they did. Uh, and if you did like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. And as always, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. <laughs> Bye.